In this most recent case, my subject was Kaylee, a cute pharmacist. I demonstrated my value to her by filling a prescription. I told her, it's for my grandmother. She's quite ill. I'll tell her I know this great little restaurant. And then when we get to the restaurant, the restaurant is closed. As, of course, it always is on Sundays. Now, if you want to create a fictional angry neighbor who's threatening her, tell her you'll take care of him. I'm watching you, you bitch. You're gonna die tonight. <laughs> this is about much more than just business. You four got some explaining to do. I don't know what happened back there, but we are innocent. We're completely we innocent. Yeah, you four bozos are the only people on the scene that weren't invited. So you can see how bad this looks. Wow. Sorry. Didn't mean to scare you there. You seem sweet. Been watching you. Following you, of sorts. You know, in a good way. Whoop. Well, how did you get, get that? Get your license? Don't worry about it. I seen it once before in a rat. And I seen it now in men. Once one gets a taste for its own kind, it can spread through the pack like a wildfire. That's you, the one with motive, and the last one to be seen with her. You're my new number one suspect. You bitch! Now you say another word, and I swear to God, I will dice you into a million little pieces. And put those pieces in a box. A glass box. That I will display on my mantle. <laughs> All right. As possible, but I shall unleash my fury upon you like the crashing of a thousand waves. I'm not gonna take no for an answer because I I, I just refuse to do that. News flash, asshole! I don't want to be on your weird website. I've been hearing it the entire goddamn time. You like it? This is about the thrill of wearing another man's skin. Look at me when you're talking to me.